How'd the date go with the Southern Belle? It kind of went wrong somehow. All right, walk me through it. Okay. Because I'm polite, I get to the restaurant five minutes early. You get there early to check out the waitresses just in case you don't like her. I don't think I want to do this. This is going to hurt, I'm not going to lie, but it's the only way you're going to learn. So stop editorializing and tell me exactly what happened. I ordered the wine. Something off the bottom of the list, but since she's not there yet, she won't know you're being cheap. I thought you said no editorializing. I said no editorializing from you. The rules are different for me. She shows up. I tell her she looks prissy. Oh, I've got to stop you again. You want to get somewhere with a woman? Do you tear down their self-confidence or build it up? Tear it down. That's right. It's called negging. We've had this conversation. So I ask about her job. She starts crying, then runs out of the restaurant. Peter, Peter, Peter! I didn't do anything wrong. You chased a short thing out of a restaurant in five minutes. The chair you're sitting in has better moves. Yeah, at least it gets some ass. Is that the kind of joke you told her? No, they were much funnier. Against my better judgment, I'm going to fix this. Show up with flowers and say it was 100% your fault even though you're sure it wasn't. It wasn't. It was. And unless you're coming with something stronger than my chair gets ass, no jokes. I mean, for an outlip, that was pretty good. Okay, no jokes. You can't be trusted. And don't do that thing where you check out her boobs while you stare into her eyes. It looks like you have Graves' disease. How you doing? So your advice is to apologize and don't stay at her breasts. You're welcome. Is there any reason I had to tell you every humiliating detail to hear that? Hell of a lot more fun for me. All right. Good luck.